Emily Fulton, and I, and I play music. I am not only my music, but I, I firmly believe that music will always be a part of my life. So for me, my creative process is, uh, is Ouija boarding. And so what that means to me is I'll just start singing words spontaneously uh, based on how the chords make me feel and also, you know, however I'm feeling before I'm writing the song, I'll probably bring that, those themes into the song. And from there, uh, whatever I feel like clicks, into the song, I'll start singing over and over again. And with that, I just kind of go line by line. You know, I just kind of just keep throwing paint at the wall and seeing what sticks. And uh, sometimes something will stick and it'll be a part of the song, you know, for the rest of the time. And sometimes it won't stick, but I'll bring it back later. It's a very open process and I just let it be as organic as I can and it's definitely become more efficient and improved ever since I started writing songs. Uh, something Ed Sheeran said is writing songs is like turning on an old faucet and at first it's going to splutter out dirty old brown water and that's kind of like the beginning songs that I wrote, you know, they weren't great but then the more you write eventually clean water starts coming out and you start writing good songs. What started me in music, I'd say, uh, was inspiration for my dad. My dad plays guitar, and I saw him playing guitar growing up, and both of my parents love music. They, they are, they're, they are hobbyists. You know, my dad plays guitar, he doesn't, he doesn't gig or anything, but you know, they both know artists, and my mom keeps up to date with all the current artists, my dad not so much. You know, my dad doesn't know Post Malone, but um, they raised me on, on, on music, and I actually grew up moving around overseas, so I didn't really get to listen to, um, I guess, the music, like the American cultural music, so I had my parents' music. That was really, I was in an echo chamber of the music that they shared with me. So they, they played a huge role in influencing me to play music, and my dad bought me my first guitar, taught me my first chords. So I'd say, you know, thanks to them, the genes they gave me, and uh, their influence was a huge part in me finding music. And as well, it was something that I think I've gravitated to towards the beginning. Like, I feel like it's just, it's always been a part of me. And uh, I would play uh, guitar all the time, and I still do. So it's, it's very freeing for me uh, to be on stage. You know, I've said before that I feel like I'm meant to be there when I'm performing on stage. It feels right. And that isn't to say, you know, I don't have gigs sometimes where I'm feeling uncomfortable or, you know, I feel like I don't belong. I think for me, performing has become a part of my life. And just like a day, you know, sometimes someone will have a bad day, someone will have a good day. And that definitely reflects, you know, my performances as well. But I think being on stage is like an exaggerated version of my life. I consider myself pretty animated and a character anyway, but when I'm on stage, I'm allowed to be free and create and, you know, the wackier and more energetic I get can be entertaining, which is very liberating for me. I feel like it's a place of no judgment because anything I do that's out of the ordinary adds to the art. And if anything, I try and apply how I act on stage to how I act in real life and vice versa because I want it to be real, truthful, and honest, but at the same time, I want it to, to tap into people's imagination, as well as just be an escape for myself and the people that are watching. So it's, it really is just a, a, like a magnifying glass of emotion, and it feels very vulnerable, you know, if I allow it to be. Now, uh, you can follow me on Lee Fulton Music on Facebook and Instagram. Those are where I'm most active, and also that's where I'm going to be promoting my upcoming uh, album that I've been working for the last year. It's going to be my debut album, my debut piece of art. I've been learning how to record, I've been learning more and more about music, and I've also just been learning how to connect more 
to my songs, so I'm so excited for that, and I'm mainly promoting on Facebook and Instagram, and, and you know, the website and Spotify and things will all come, and that will all be under Lee Fulton, so that's where you can uh, look forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> Instagram, send to your DMs and an hour in hand. 